I mean, projected film is um, one of the most beautiful experiences we can have, I think, because it's just like, it's, it's indexical. It's, it's, it's the light that went through the camera and came out onto the projection screen. And also, it's um, incredibly kind on us, projected film, in relation to the, um, the, you know, the subliminal black. You know, cinemas are, I think, places that were made for photochemical film projection. Um, um, they're dark, sort of, you know, hollow places with the, with the light. You don't need that with digital, but yet somehow we've kept the cinemas. Um, and so they're a bit kind of ungainly and uncomfortable and don't quite function in the way that they used to with, with film, which were these sort of magical dark boxes. But, but that doesn't mean that, that digital cinema is in, in any way illegitimate. It's just I don't think it's quite comfortable in what I would call the cinema. It's, 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 it needs to go somewhere else, and maybe it is more comfortable on the on the iPhone or the you know on the digital device. But so I think the experience of a cinema projection is, of course, in a way, um, should be unique to film. You know, I cut my films on a cutting table. I need print. I need the physical material when I cut my films, and and it's really just me and my material, and a cutting table. And I see that relationship in the same way as, you know, any artist with their palette of paint and their, and their, their easel or whatever they're painting on. It's exactly the same relationship as, you know, any, as an oil painter with the paints, with a sculptor with the plaster or whatever material they're using. It's the same relationship. So, um, to lose print, I lose my ability to make my work. And projection, I mean, if we lose film, then we lose. I will lose the ability to see my own films, and uh, so will everyone else. And um, it, you know, it's very sad for me. But whether it's sad for anyone else, I don't know. But it's a, it's a huge, huge thing to because I'm not going to. My films are all about the way they're shown. You know, they cannot be. Is they would not, you know, why I'm not going to turn my my draw my chalk drawings into facsimiles, some digital printouts. I'm not going to do the same with my films either. It's and I wouldn't want to go to a museum and see anyone else having done that either. I don't want to see an oil painting digitized. I don't want to see a sculpture in some three D printed form unless that was how it was made. And for me, it's just like how we're even at this point where we're having to talk about this is. Is tragic, but this is what's happened. We have to claw back from the edge because we've gone too far in this using of the medium thing. You know, film is not a technology that can go obsolete. It's a medium. So the fact that people say that this um, rallying around an obsolete technology is no, it's a very active medium, and I use it, and I'm under fifty, just. And there are many, many people who use it. There are kids making photograms and making any, you know, all sorts of things. It's just, it's the wrong people are saying that. Of course they are, I know that, I get that every day. And my argument is it's not uh, a technology that can go obsolete. It has, a, you know, it's, it's intertwined medium technology throughout its la the last hundred or so years. But it's a, it's a totally vibrant, exciting medium with which you can make things that you cannot make in any other medium. What's that expression? The message is in the medium. I mean, the, the medium is, is the artwork. It's entirely intertwined. There's, you cannot separate them. Yeah.